SBR videos are sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. We are previewing week five in college football here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Lochak. We are talking right now with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, who uh, picked San Jose State over Minnesota last week and lost. And now he's uh, coming back this week with Minnesota's again uh, at home against Iowa. Interesting that he uh, is choosing another Minnesota game. Troy, thanks for being back with us this week. Thanks a lot, Pete. You know, I'll eat my words a little bit. Last week we were wrong on the San Jose State-Minnesota game. I I'm not afraid to uh, admit fault. Uh, but this week, you know, ever having to watch Minnesota for, for another week now and, and really crunching the tape and writing some, some important keys down, I think we have a winning side. I, I, I'm feeling very confident that we're on a winning side this week. Pete. All right. Well, we'll see what you have to say about this line. Uh, it's currently a Minnesota plus one, but it opened at Minnesota minus two. So obviously some uh, decently sharp action has come in on Iowa so far. The total is 47 and a half. And, you know, Minnesota was using a backup quarterback last game, but he played well. He had a great game. Uh, Iowa, kind of a little bit hard for me to uh, get a read on them. My only thought on this game is that the total 47 and a half may be hanging a bit low. You know, Minnesota's quarterback, again, did have a good game. If he can repeat that, then, uh, you know, both teams should be able to get to, you know, 20, 24, and uh, maybe the over has a little bit of value. But what do you like here, Troy? I really like Iowa. I, I, I shit you not, mm. Pete. I'm, I'm not an emotional gambler. Those days are mm -hmm. behind me. But I bet the games just like everybody else does, and I haven't yelled at my TV like that in a long time. <laughs> San Jose State could not stop Minnesota. The reason why was their defensive line was brutal. Right. Minnesota, I, I kid you not, the, the viewers, if you watch that football game, they run four plays, and one of them is – is a wildcat where the quarterback literally just takes it and runs runs it right up the middle, and they're getting five, six yards of carry. It was just bad football all the way around. Minnesota, to me, is not a good football team. This is the worst 4-0 team I've ever seen in all my years of watching college football. Iowa, I haven't seen a whole lot of them, but to beat Western Michigan 59-3, to Western Michigan played Michigan State pretty tough earlier this year, so I thought that was an actual – a pretty convincing win, 59-3. I think Iowa is a good football team. They should be able to match Minnesota's toughness up front, which is going to make them, to me, the winner of this football game. If, if Minnesota improves the 5-0 and I'm wrong here, mm -hmm. shoot, I'll, I'll, I'll apologize to all you Minnesota fans out there. But I think Iowa is the better football team. I think they're going to go in there. They won't have any issues. I think they're going to win this game. I think they're going to get it by at least a touchdown. Hope to God I'm not wrong. I'll be eating my words next week. But Iowa's a better football team, and I do think they can match the toughness of Minnesota where San Jose State couldn't last week. Well, you know, the early uh, line movement obviously agrees with you. Like I said, three-point swing in favor of Iowa. We'll see where it closes, though. It couldn't, wouldn't be surprised to see it uh, swing back. Yeah, and in that Western Michigan game, though, Iowa did get two punt returns for a touchdown and two pick sixes. Even without those, it still would have been um, a blowout. It's just, uh, I guess my only thought is that, you know, in college football, it's just tough to go on the road and get a win, and it's tough to go on the road and get a cover as a road favorite for any team. Iowa, are they the kind of team that can be relied upon to do that? I'm not exactly sure. Good points, Pete. you got to remember, this Minnesota team won one conference game last year. When they get into that Big Ten competition, people that can, like I said, match them up front, mm -hmm. match them defensively, hit for hit, they struggle. Minnesota, everything I've read about them preseason and into this season, you know, they are 4-0, but they have not played anybody. They, they really have not played anybody. They haven't played a big conference team yet this year. This is the time in conference play, Big Ten football time. Iowa will match Minnesota, and they will match in a more talented team. I think they get a win on the road. Okay, we'll see where this line closes. Right now, uh, Troy Lichen, Iowa, minus two at Minnesota. Thanks, Troy.